Hi, my name is Sarah. Hi, my name is Diane. And today we're going to be taking you to the Huntington Botanical, Botanical Gardens, Gardens and Library. Library. Come along on this rainy day. As you can see, it's raining. Beautiful skies, beautiful weather. Uh, there's a really nice fountain outside the library exhibition hall, which I guess they have pretty cool paintings there. I don't know, but let's go. Let's go check it out. And then this is some beautiful architecture plans. I personally like this one. It looks really pretty. Uh, I wish we could do architecture like that instead of modern. So there were a lot of people around and a lot of security guards, but basically I was just talking about the architecture plans and who were they by and what the layout was like. The residents from W.S. Woodworth elevations and first floor plan. That's really cool. And then this one is by Wes Wilson and it's a beautiful abstract art piece. Anyways, we left the building because there's a security guard looking at us yeah, a little bit funny. Yeah, following us. Like, we're like, gonna do steal the artwork. I, I, think, like, I think she's just a really big fan of the yeah. Artist Life TV show. Yeah. And Should've shouted out, giving her a business card or something. <sighs> I, I know she's a loyal subscriber. I don't know why people are here, but yeah, now we're gonna go over there. What's that? That is a building that I don't know. Looks like, looks really pretty. Now, as you can see, there are two paintings by this entrance. If we take a look over, there's a painting of Samuel Johnson by Joshua Reynolds. It's a gift from the Rothschild family. I just love this painting so much because it's just very candid. And we don't see very many candid paintings nowadays. And we, if we come on over, there's a painting called Young Man with a Cape and Gown by Joseph Wright. Both are very traditional paintings for the 1700s. And I just really love the browns and blacks in the painting. I, I'm a big fan myself, and it's just so cool, and I love it. Anyways, now let's just go over to the dining room. It's so beautiful. This is my favorite part. So here's me, aka Sarah, walking into the next section of this bu building, and then I found this ginormous mural that was also just extravagant and beautiful, and it was actually on cloth. I know it may seem like it's on like some sort of canvas, but it was actually cloth. So maybe the museum painted on the original painting on cloth, or maybe the original painters painted on cloth, but who knows? Seriously, so beautiful. And now here's a little mini tour of the rest of the section. So as we walked around the section, we found all these sorts of Victorian furniture, bookshelves, just all these beautiful little artifacts, and even more murals that were just as extravagant as the first one. So this painting is of Sarah Garrett Moulton. Her name is Sarah, my name is Sarah. It's Destiny. And this was made by Thomas Lawrence. Thomas Lawrence, if you're tuning in, you did really good. And like, she's wearing Maybe a linen dress or a silver one. She's really pretty. And I love the pink accents. Like the little side piece and the little, not a belt, but you know. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Now, if we look on over, there's a painting of a man and a woman. I love her gown. She is serving and she is slaying. And the man, I love his top too. And I love the pink accent that he has. Amazing. And of course, you know, we have traditional portraits but let's look at this chandelier 
literally stunning gorgeous moi i love it so much it's serving oh my gosh like i want that in my house it's giving now let's enter this room and all the portraits in this room are life-sized and they're at least 10 feet and then as we went on to the next section we were met with this giant room full of these giant canvases of full body portraits of different people different women and men and we even found these um portrait style sculptures of people which were actually made of plaster instead of marble the painting behind me you see here oh my gosh i'm in love with all the details it's quite literally beautiful for her time i love her hair i love her dress and it's all in oils. It literally looks like a photo. I can't believe it. We discovered that most of these were actually made in such little time as like a year or even less, which is truly incredible to know and was really inspiring. This next sculpture is of Oliver Cromwell and fun fact, that little neck piece around his neck actually wouldn't have been worn back in his day, but that was a part of the artist's style. So the artist included that for himself. As we went up the stairs, we were met with an abundance of different art pieces and artifacts. First were these small full body sculptures that were actually very detailed, yet they were so small. So I wonder how long and what precision it actually took to make those. Then we found even more scenes being depicted on these canvas like cloths that weren't as big as the ones we showed earlier, but still so beautiful. And as we walked across the room, we were met with these beautiful porcelain pieces that had beautiful colors that would actually remind you of spring. These also had very intricate and precise details and quite frankly resembled a dollhouse or some sort of girly toy that you would find today with its very soft narration it performed with the detailing. Next we found this oddly shaped piece with the painting above that actually depicted some sort of scene with perhaps people being stranded on an island which was really interesting to look at. And next we found a scene that looked like two ladies having a small get together with other men worshiping them in a very quiet and peaceful manner. And as we moved along to the next section that was connected to this room, we were met with an abundance of different artifacts, just like the ones before, but we also saw these very detailed uh, vases and different porcelain like dishes, which I actually hope people didn't use because they're just so beautiful that I just want them on display. And then we were met with another section connected to that last one where we found even more vases and porcelain products. And there, a lot of them were actually duplicates. So I actually had a hunch that maybe the museum maybe duplicated that or the original artist did it twice, which is actually really impressive because they all had intricate detailing. So imagine how long that would take. souls, our hearts, and what we want to be, and what, how we want to dress if society normalized it. So, this is a painting of Anne Kirk. Wait, she sounds so really familiar. Um, anyways, I feel like I learned about her, but I didn't pay attention to this. So, I would wear this gold dress, beautiful, I love that hairstyle, I love, like, the accents. It just, it represents me overall. The painting behind me is what people usually wore in mourning periods at the time, and her dress is, again, stunning. Now, as we pass by this hallway, keep in mind, not only were these hand-painted, but they were also handmade. Back then, they didn't have the technology like we have today, so just imagine how long it takes to make these antiques, sculptures, insanely beautiful. We're entering. Okay. 
Okay guys, so we just left the European art gallery. We were being followed. We so were being followed. I think they were fans of up. the Artist Life TV show. Yeah. Um, no, because like we were like posing next to paintings. We were like, <laughs> and um, there was like this man and he just kept like popping in. And I'm like, dude, do you like want a picture of this or something? Like I'm what's, not even doing that much. what's the deal? Just, like we were, we were not being we distracted. We were admiring the work. We were admiring the work and we were giving the work clout. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were yeah, we were being very respectful and we weren't even talking we were literally just doing this like yeah, oh we my god like... look at that look at that yeah. so um yeah well, now we're gonna be heading to the japanese garden and my feet are killing me wait look at sarah i'm frolicking frolicking She's frolicking. the japanese garden Cold, but at least it's not raining as much there's a tiny bit of drizzle it's getting on my phone but i don't know if you can see it on camera but yeah we should end this entire thing by seeing filmed on iphone yeah guys if you didn't know the quality is really yeah good. the quality is so good and um oh. it's raining too much so i can't really film on my camera so and her phone's about to die so and my phone's about to it's die so we're filming on sarah's yep leaving now it has been really fun you guys and i hope you really like this more episodes to come uh yeah my feet hurt mine too <laughs> okay ready <laughs> you were supposed to go oh no look look that's that's pretty cool sarah it is cool yeah. Um, look at this, these buildings are really pretty. It's raining right now, but we're doing yeah. the best for you guys because we love you like that. <laughs> so, yes. just like extravagance, ex extravaganza. Another building. It reminds me of USC, but without the brick. And I love USC. Mentions to USC. USC, if you see this, I love you. And I want to be accepted so bad. Hey, Gardens and Library. Huntington Botanical Gardens and Library. Botanical Gardens and Library. Okay, ready? Ready? There's people right now, so we're yeah, just and we're really scared leave. and like Sarah, do something. I hope you enjoyed watching. And no, like... I I ended the thing. Oh, um, we are out arted right now. We, we are, are too farted out to vlog. Farted, I said farted. Yes, yeah, so, I know. Okay. We are too farted out.